day two of Stop Spinning in Your Anxiety and Begin to Heal. Start healing today. Yay! Welcome to day two. I am thrilled to be here. I just am uh, refreshing my feed over here so I can see you guys in your comments. Um, I'm so excited to be here. I Hey, everybody on the replay. <clears throat> Hashtag replay when you are playing so that I know that you're here and watching the replay. Um, I hope that everybody who uh, missed yesterday's class or wasn't able to make it uh, was able to go and watch the replay. I'm sorry, there was a glitch in my system when it sent out the replay, so I sent it out this morning. Uh, so hopefully you were able to see it. Uh, don't panic. I know when you look at it, it says six, uh, 56 minutes. Don't panic. Uh, you do not have to watch the entire you know hour's worth uh, immediately. You can start out with just 20 minutes uh, or 15 minutes. Uh, we did a bonus a training at the end because we were having so much fun and we were seeing results. Hey, Maria. Uh, so I hope that you all enjoyed that. Um, if you are joining me, uh, for the first time on day two, that's great. You can start right here and you can go back and, uh, watch day one later on today. Okay. So I can see myself. I can see your comments. Sweet. Uh, okay. So, uh, let's just recap what we learned yesterday, right? So we learned that our spinning and our procrastination, um, also have positive intentions, right? All of our anxiety, our scary thoughts, everything has positive intentions. Um, so no more with beating yourself up because you're stuck spinning or you have scary thoughts or you're anxious. We know that all of this has some sort of positive intent. Um, and we also know obviously our goal to heal and to feel better and to kick our anxiety feel calm and peaceful also has positive intent and that they both can come together for you to integrate both sides of yourself um, so that you can actually move forward and achieve your goal of healing, right? So today we're gonna go more into um, achieving your goal. I'm just opening this up. Please forgive me for looking. Uh, so we're gonna go more into this. So I'm really looking forward to it. So today we're going to do um, another exercise that is going to piggyback off of yesterday's. What we're trying to do here over these three days is really get you through all of these limiting beliefs that are keeping you stuck, all of this procrastination, all of this spinning, right, of what if, or I should, or I coulda, or shoulda, woulda, coulda, or, um, you know, uh, looking too much to the future. Oh my God, everything's going to uh, be painful. Everything's going to take a lot of time. Everything's going to be hard. So we're trying to bust through that so you can actually take those steps to heal and that you can enjoy the process and that it's easy for you and it doesn't take a lot of time. So uh, what is our goal here? Okay, so uh, a lot of times when I ask my moms, you know, what is it that you want, right? So if it's, let's say, six months from now, a year from now, and you're looking back and it was the best year of your life, what does that look like? Now, the key here is to not say anything with a negative connotation okay so part of what i do is neurolinguistic programming which has to do with the words that you use what you say to yourself okay so typically what i get is uh i don't want to have scary thoughts right <laughs> i don't want to be anxious i don't want to be angry i don't want to i don't want to i don't want to okay we already know what you don't want your brain already knows what you do want so what is it that you actually want? So if you have some paper, I want you to um, break it up into four pieces. If you don't have paper and you're listening in your car, obviously do not do this. Um, so I will just give you an example real fast. I clearly was not prepared to open up something. One second. Okay, so you're gonna just take a piece of paper we're gonna break it up into like four sections, okay? I have a PDF for you guys too, but this uh, will suffice right now. So just break it up for four sections and you're gonna put where I am now, where I am now, okay? Where I want to go, okay? So one side is gonna say, obviously this is backwards where I am now, where I wanna go. And then you're gonna put, why do I want this? This question mark. And how am I going to get there? So quarter, where I am now, where I wanna go. This looks like chicken scratch. 
<laughs> why do I want this? And how am I going to get there? Okay. Um, if you only have one piece of paper, that's fine. You don't have to necessarily do that. Okay. So why do we do this? We do this for oh, quite a number of reasons because we actually don't know what we want. And that's what I find with all of my clients. Like I said, everyone's like, oh, I don't want this. I don't want that. I don't want this. So what do we want? Okay. So first let's start with, um, where I am now. Okay. So this is a huge, this is, this is, I've learned personally from Tony Robbins. He's my coach. Um, Dean Graziosi, they're my coach. They're a uh, huge mindset coach coaches. Um, so this is an exercise obviously that I learned from them and, and many others such as John Asaraf, um, Dr. Bruce Lipton, um, Dr. Uh, Joe D. Zenza, I can't even say it right now. So I've learned from the best in the world. Okay. So these exercises really work. What I do is fucking amazing and it really works. So where are you right now? Okay. So write all the down. You're angry. You're anxious. You're scared. You have scary thoughts, right? Um, you're sleep deprived. You are miserable, right? You don't like motherhood, what, whatever it is. Am I getting this on the spot? Like, give me a number one. Uh, you love having a child. You love your child, but you don't love motherhood. Uh, you also probably are um, exhausted, right? Burnt out, overwhelmed, so on and so forth. Am I getting it? Hitting it right on the nail on the head? Hey, other Maria, <laughs> two Marias on, love it. Um, so where you are right now, write down everything, all the shitty stuff, right? Everything that sucks. Because this is really when I say, what, what do you, if you look a year ahead and you look back and it was the best year of your life, you're like, oh, I don't have anxiety. I don't have this. So write down all of those things. Okay. Take your time. Um, normally this exercise takes an hour. We're going to try and do it in half an hour. Um, since yesterday we went over on time. Uh, so now as soon as you do this exercise, you can obviously go deeper when you get off the line with me. And I do suggest you do. So you get a better understanding of what is happening, how your brain is functioning, right? And how to overcome the procrastination, overcome the spinning and anxiety, overcome the thoughts. All right. Now, where do you want to go? What do you want? What is your end goal? Right. And use, you might have to use the opposite, right? That's why we did a little bit of it yesterday. The opposite of what is where you are now. So if you need some help, which most of my moms need is, uh, what do you want? If it's a year, think about it right now. Just don't write anything. If it's a year from now and it's the best year of your life and you've healed and you are what you feel, what, what is that state? What is that be, uh, vision that you see? What does it look and feel like, right? Does it look like you're waking up in the morning and feeling grateful for the day instead of scared, right? Maybe you are looking forward to the day in the morning or you have positive thoughts in the morning and you have positive and loving thoughts throughout the day. Or maybe you're feeling calm and peaceful, right? Relaxed. Oh, you feel maybe relief. Right? Maybe you feel successful or self-confident. Uh, maybe you're back to work or maybe you're at home for good. Um, or maybe you're in the best shape of your life. It could be anything. But just think about it. If it's a year from now, what does that look like? And focus directly on you and motherhood. Try to keep that in the same thing. Um, don't don't add like, I want a bigger house. I want this. Well, we're getting too far. <laughs> just, just stick with motherhood for right now. That's for another day. All right. What does that look like? What does it feel like inside? What does that feel like? Hmm. Does it feel like happiness? Does it, are you present with your kids? Are you present with yourself? Does that look like more alone time? Does that look like you pursuing your passions outside the home? Does that look like better bonding with your child? Does that look like better intimacy with your spouse or your significant other? What does that look and feel like? Like if your life could be perfect in this motherhood journey, right? And this is what I, I focus on. Obviously, there's there's a, there's a level of perfection, right? We don't want to be too perfect. But if it could be, if anything was possible, which it is, anything and everything is possible. And you'll learn that when you work with me. Uh, I teach you that literally anything is possible. So if anything was possible, if time, money, and energy was not an issue and anything was possible, what does that look like for you guys? I want you to like really embody that for a second. Okay, and when you get a chance, 
I want you to type in the chat some of the things that came up for you. So as you guys type and as you do this exercise, you can always pause the video and take your time and do this at your own pace, okay? Um, you know, for me, I was a yeller. Uh, I still yell from time to time, um, but I was definitely a yeller. I grew up a family of yellers. Uh, obviously, that was a subconscious program that I had and habits and patterns that I had to diminish and change. Um, but for me, that was huge. And I had to vision what it looked like to not yell, right? So what did that look like for me? Can you show me the paper again? Yeah, it doesn't necessarily have to be like this. You're just going to do where I am now, right? That's all the shitty stuff and where you want to go, okay? So it's just kind of across. And then on the bottom, um, I don't even know what that says. <laughs> Why do I want it? And we'll get into it. And then how... Am I going to get there? And I'll share a PDF with you guys. I'll send it to your email so you can print it out. It's prettier than this. But um, this will just give you a, a little um, preview to it. Okay. So for me, when it looked like not yelling, I had to train my brain to think about, okay, well, what does a parent do that doesn't yell? Right? Right? Because I don't want to yell. That was my goal. I don't want to yell. But what? how can I rephrase that? I want to be able to respond calmly peacefully, loving, and I want to be understanding about what is going on, okay? And I also want to be able to remove myself emotionally from whatever the situation is, right? Um, because if I can remove myself emotionally from it, then I can respond with ease, understanding, love, and be present, right? Uh, so for me, that was my goal. So try to reword whatever you're saying. If you don't want to have anxiety, what does that mean? Right? You want to feel safe and secure. Um, if you have scary thoughts and you don't want scary thoughts, then what are the thoughts that you actually want to have? So you might have to think back before kids, depending on how high your anxiety was before kids. But let's say you didn't have scary thoughts. Like what was your head filled with? Did you have thoughts about your job and, and like the excitement you were going to have? Or did you have thoughts about your relationship or travel or excitement about life or just feeling grateful for the house that you live in, the car that you had? Like, what were your thoughts beforehand? Some of you are going to have thoughts that <laughs> before kids that were probably anxious. So you might have to just come up with a new way of what you would like your thoughts to be, right? Just, are you following? Yes. Oh, geez. Hey, Tamsin, how are you, girl? Um, so kind of figuring out what that is. So do me a favor, Miss Maria's, type in the chat, what do you, if it's a year from now, and it's the best year of your life and motherhood ever, and you've healed, what does that look like? What does that feel like for you? Okay, so as you guys type, I will continue to talk. <laughs> no awkward science list. No, <laughs> just kidding. Okay, so you made you've already made a huge step. This is a step that people can't get out of, right? So we're talking about spinning in our anxiety, right? Spinning in our scary thoughts. We know what we don't want. A huge thing is. It feels like no anxiety. Rephrase that. Rephrase that. It feels safe and secure. I feel relaxed. I feel relief. I feel connected. I feel supported. I feel what? Something positive. Rephrase everything that you say because what, what's happening is we've been trained to say everything negatively. Now, what happens is our brain absorbs all of this information. So really, every time you say you don't want to be anxious, you are telling yourself to be anxious, right? I'm overwhelmed to abundant. Yes, perfect. Depressed to joyful. Amber, boom, hit the nail on the head, girl. Hit the nail on the head. Okay, so neuro-linguistic programming, it has to do with the way we speak to ourselves. So our subconscious brain can't differentiate from no anxiety and I want anxiety, right? It just says anxiety. 
and you're actually telling yourself it feels empowering. Yes, perfect, Maria, perfect. It, you are telling yourself more anxiety, more anxiety, more anxiety. So even though you say, I don't want anxiety, you are literally telling your brain, we're gonna be anxious, we're gonna be anxious. We're going to be anxious. We're going to be depressed. We're going to be depressed. We're going to be depressed, right? So even if you say, I do not want to be depressed, it's telling your brain that you want to be depressed, all right? So it will find things to make you more depressed. It'll put you in situations to be more depressed. I always use this example. If somebody says, don't look at the thing that's green on the screen. Do you see something green on my screen? You can't help but force your eyes to look at that thing that's green on the screen. If I tell you, do not look at something that's pink on the screen, you're automatically going to look at that thing that is pink on the screen, automatically. Because your brain absorbed, there's a, look at something green. Not do not look at something green. Do not look at something pink, okay? So like when I teach, because uh, I teach group exercise too, when I teach, one of the things that you learn is that if I tell you, don't look down, everybody looks down. So I have to tell you, look straight or look up instead of don't look down because you will automatically do that because your subconscious brain picks it up as look down. Following? Yes? Okay. So rewording how you talk about your situation. I want happy and optimistic thoughts. I want positive thoughts, not I don't want scary thoughts anymore, right? Because now you're telling me, I want more scary thoughts. I want more scary thoughts. <laughs> Got it? <laughs> Is everyone following? Give me one if you're following, okay? So now you just made a huge step in your spinning, all right? So we just conquered two huge things. Yesterday we did a huge step, right? We, we did this um, self-integration technique, okay? Where we integrated both sides of us. Got it, okay. Now, you just did a huge step, another second huge step. You figured out what you actually want. Now, your focus has to be only on what you want, not on what you don't want. It can only be phrased positively in your mind, and you can only focus on what is what you want, where you want to go, not where you are, not where you've been, where you want to go. So uh, there needs to be a very clear vision of what you see. Tomorrow we're gonna get more into the clear vision, all right? Um, when, we, when I work with my clients, it's very important that we do this type of visualization work, this type of energy healing, this type of energy psychology because we are training our brain, right? So we are retraining it, reprogramming it to focus on something. So we need to have a clear vision. The clearer your vision is, the clearer you know and the more uh, like definite you are about what it is you want, the faster you're gonna get there. The faster your brain, the same way it's gonna force you to say, I want things that are more anxious, more depressed, more this, it's gonna do the opposite. It's gonna train you, right, to see things more positively. It's gonna train you to put yourself in positive situations, to watch positive TV shows, to find things to be grateful for. It will do it automatically. You don't have to do anything. That is the beauty of what I do. You don't actually have to do anything. It does it all for you. Your brain does it all for you. But we have to do these exercises in order for your brain to be retrained, right? In order for it to be easy. So two huge steps you just made. This is the second where you have a clear vision of where you want to go. What is your goal? All right. Now, why do you want it? All right. This is the third most important thing. Now, what I teach is amazing for motherhood, but can be utilized in every single area of your life. Okay. But we are just sticking to motherhood here. So whatever you learn with me and my coaching programs in this three-day challenge in my membership program can be used in all areas of your life, which is fucking awesome. Okay. So, uh, the third component of any kind of goal, wish, desire, whatever you want to call it, is the why. This is what actually got me moving on my healing journey. It propelled me moving forward, okay? Again, this just why exercise can be done for an hour, all right? But we're going to do it in 10 minutes, all right? So I want you to ask yourself, why do you want to heal? Why do you want to feel calm, peaceful, joyful, 
have positive thoughts, feel grateful. Why do you want it? Write it in the comments. Why do you want to heal? Why do you want to feel relaxed and safe and calm? Why? Why is that important? Let me know. If you don't know your why, you won't go anywhere. <laughs> you will continue to spin in procrastination, in anxiety, in your scary thoughts. So the question is, why do you want to feel that way? Why do you want this goal? Why is that important to you? Okay, I'll give you some of mine. Why do I want to feel calm and peaceful? <laughs> In my mind, I'm like, who doesn't want to feel calm and peaceful? It feels better than the alternative. And I want positive change. Okay, but why do you want positive change? And why do you want to feel better? Why? What does feeling better do for you or your family or your kids? What does it do for you? does it do for you? What does it allow you to do? What does feeling better allow you to do? Okay. What is it going to do for you? So I'll help you because this exercise is hard for me. <laughs> All right. So let's say, uh, why do you want to feel calm and peaceful? Why do you want to feel better? It makes me feel peace. Okay, good, good. All right. So uh, so for Maria, it makes you feel peace, right? Um, and so Amber, what, what is having, what is feeling better going to do for you? So let me go into mine. So, uh, feeling safe and secure. Okay. What, what, what is that going to do for me? Oh, it's going to give me like utter relief. I'm going to feel free. I'm going to feel like, oh, oh freedom. <laughs> Freedom from the prison of my own fucking mind. Okay, I, it makes me feel free. To feel safe and secure, it, it gives me relief. Helps me feel better, right? Okay, but what is feeling better going to do for me? Feel joy. Enjoy everything, okay? Great. Now, why is it important that you enjoy everything? What is that going to do for you? If you feel peaceful, what is that going to do for you or your family? Why is feeling peaceful important? Why is feeling joy important to you? What is it going to do for you? Okay, so you can couple. So these are what we call high level values right now. So some of you are getting into them immediately. So that's really good. That means the exercise from yesterday worked. I can be better as a mom, do more for my kids, myself, others. Good. Now, why do you want to be a better mom? Why is that important? Why do you want to do more for your kids? What is doing more for your kids going to do for them or do for you? What is it going to bring you? A sense of what? You guys are doing really well with this exercise. This is not an easy one. What is that going to do for you? So I can help you. Each one of you are going to be different but I can help you. So uh, if it makes me feel peace, I already did that one, right? I feel peace, I feel relief. Yeah, it is hard, Maria, okay? Do you know why it's hard? Because we've never elicited high level values, okay? So you've never done this exercise before, which is why I have no fucking idea because people, we should have been taught this in like when we were five, <laughs> okay? So what we're doing is we are trying to pull out what are um, the most important things in our lives, right? Like, uh, I'll give you an example. People want more money, right? And you get more money, but you're not fulfilled. Like Amber's saying success and fulfillment, okay? But you're not fulfilled. So we're trying to figure out what makes you fulfilled, okay? What is gonna give you that feeling of fulfillment? That's what we're all looking for, okay? And the only way we can do that is to elicit the, our highest level values, which you probably don't even know what they are. That's why we're trying to pull them out. Now, when you elicit the highest level values, what's the most important thing for you to feel, to feel in life, to feel fulfilled, then you will actually take steps towards your goal. You'll actually see that they're aligned. 
like that exercise we did yesterday where we integrated both sides of us. This is what we're doing on a, on a higher level, okay? So I will help you. Uh, I feel joy, okay? Why is it important to feel joy, okay? Uh, why? Why is it for, important for us to be happy? What is that gonna do for us, okay? Being happy is going to do what? allow us to maybe have motivation to, I don't know, pursue a passion or to love more or to uh, play more or have more fun, right? Um, and then, okay, so what is having more fun gonna do for us? Or what is playing gonna do for us? Or, or why are these things important, right? To put you in a better mood, but why do you wanna be in a better mood? Why? Why do you wanna be in a better mood? What is being in a better mood going to do for you? It's going to do what? Right? And now, Amber, uh, when you talk about success and fulfillment, fulfillment is a high, it, it's a value, so it's success. But what is feeling successful going to do for you? What is feeling fulfilled going to do for you? So if you feel successful, you're probably going to feel a sense of achievement, a self, a self confidence, right? You're going to feel like you, you know, did something. So what does that do for you? It, it gives you, uh, helps you feel empowered, right? It, it helps you feel happier, helps you feel joyful, right? Uh, success also, what depends on what level of success it might be. You might build a better connection, right? Um, you might have some sort of freedom, depending upon what kind of success you're talking about, right? Um, if you're fulfilled, what is feeling fulfilled going to do for you? Why do you want to feel fulfilled? What is that going to bring you? Right? Being in a better mood. What does that do for you and your family? What does that do for them? If you're happy and you're fulfilled and you feel confident and you feel successful and you feel uh, free, right? You feel relief. You feel safe, you feel secure, you feel grateful. How does that affect your family? How does that help them? What does that do for them? So not only does it do for you, but what does it do for them? Take stress out, rephrase that. <laughs> rephrase that. Builds connection. Builds love family, more joy, more freedom to be together, right? It will give me and my son a healthy, okay, health is a huge high level value too, to continue to grow and keep learning, all right? Why is it important that you are mentally healthy? Why is it important? Why, why is there so much information about mental health everywhere. Why do we even care? I know I'm fucking wrecking your brain right now. This exercise, the first time I did it, I was, mind you, you probably gonna have to do this like a hundred more times for all different areas of your life, but it gets easier each time. But the first time I did it, I was like, uh, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why. And nobody's ever asked you. Because if you're not okay, then your ship is going down and you got to hold it together. Okay. But why is it, why, they, uh, rephrase that. If you're okay, then the ship is sailing and life is easy. Why, why do we want life to be enjoyable? Right? Okay. I'm, I'm running out of time here. But anyway, I will give you. Like I said, this exercise could take an hour, so let me help you. All right. So we're going to start with, for example, I want to heal from anxiety, okay? So I want to feel calm and peaceful. Why is that important, right? For me, it's important because I want to feel relief. I want to feel good. I want to feel happy. I want to feel free. I, you know, I want to feel this way. It's like if you're, you are stress, house feels stress. If I'm good, I'm bringing happiness. Okay. So we're going to get even deeper. Very good. Very good. Okay. But so you see. Every one of you sees how your energy and how your mental health not only affects you, but also affects the entire household, right? 
Okay, when they say mom, when mom's happy or happy wife, happy life or whatever, it's 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 really true because a, mo a mother and a wife's energy affects everybody, right? Because we have become superhuman and that is a training for a different day. But um, what am I saying? Okay, so we want to feel calm and peaceful. Why is that important? Feel relief, feel freedom, feel feel whatever, right? Okay, so some of you might say I want to heal because I want to be healthy, mentally healthy. Well, why is it important to be mentally healthy? It's important because number one, our mental health affects our actual health, right? So we want to be healthy so that we can live life, right? Enjoy life, be with our family, right? Uh, we want to possibly pursue our passions. We want to uh, feel joy. We want to have fun. We want to be able to go places and do things, right? Um, for some of you, it's going to be, I'm trying to think of the other extra, feel better. Okay, so uh, Jacqueline mentioned something about their son, right? Uh, so that your kids feel good, okay? So for me, I'm going to walk you through my personal one. Why I wanted to heal. I knew my mental health affects my kid, right? So I wanted to be healthy so that my son can be healthy, right? Why do I want my son to be healthy? Because I don't want my son to live the life that I lived and suffer like I'm suffering currently. And I want him to have freedom, right? Freedom of choices. I want him to feel loved. I want him to have connection. I want him to feel really good, I want him to have positive beliefs instilled in him. I want him to, to feel like hit, the world is at his fingertips, that he has love for himself, that he feels worthy, he feels deserving. I want him to have a good connection with my son. I want to build a, the best relationship possible. I literally wanted the complete opposite of my childhood, right? I wanted the complete opposite. So that's something you should think about. How was your childhood? Was it good? Was it bad? Did you enjoy it? Do you have a good relationship with your mom and dad? You know, things like that. So for me, my healing, why it was important to me was because I wanted my son to have freedom and love and connection. So actually my healing, my why, wasn't necessarily about me. It was about my son and ensuring he didn't live the same life I did, right? Because we're all suffering right now, right? You're all suffering, you're miserable. This can be prevented and you can prevent that for your kids. I don't know if you know that, but everything you're learning right now, you're gonna teach to your children and your children are gonna teach to their children. And so my why became, I can break generational patterns. I can change the generation to come through my healing, through me feeling really good, me creating positive beliefs inside me for my self-love, for my self-healing, my self-esteem, my self-care, right? For me building a connection to my child, right? That became my why to break all these generational patterns, to change generations. Like think about what you could do if you heal, how you will heal all of the, all of the next generation aligns, all the kids that will come after you just because of you, because you chose to take a step and heal. Every single thing that you do from now on is going to come back to your why. Your why is it important for you to feel better. Do you want better connection to your kid? Do you want better bonding to your children, better bonding to your spouse? Do you want a better relationship to yourself? Do, what, what do you want? Why is that important? Why is it important? Do you want happiness, joy, freedom, connection? What, what is that, right? Is everyone following? If you are, give me one. And I'm running out of time. Okay. I hope this is following. You guys are following. Um, I'm going to be sending you guys a PDF. In my monthly membership program, we go deeper into this. Um, it's really important that you delve deeper into this yourself, okay? Your why is your motivation. It's your drive, all right? Your why, Maria, tell me what your loss on and I'll help you get through it. Your why is your most important thing. 
It's the only thing that's going to drive you to move forward to take the steps to heal. It's the only thing that's going to get you moving in the right directions. It's the only thing that's going to reprogram your brain enough for you to get the help and support and to actually take the steps and stay committed and invest the time, energy, and money, right? Okay, there you go. If you're so confused, I can help you. Um, but this is your why, all right? Um, and we will get more specific in my monthly membership program. Um, but I will give you the PDF so that you can do this on your own and you can go a little bit deeper. But you're really asking yourself this question over and over again. Why is this important I heal? Why is it important that I have positive thoughts? Why is it important that I, excuse me, feel more love or have passion for life or, or whatever it is? You always want to ask yourself why. Why is it important? What is it going to do for me? What is it going to do for my family? And then you can go even farther, which I did. What is it going to do for the world? Right? I know that sounds crazy, but it's so true. Moms are, moms are the only people on the planet who think collective. Me, my, uh, me, myself, and I is the rest of the world. We are the only ones that think everything as we. So you have to really dig deep into realizing that the reason you're here with me right now is not just because of you. It's because you want to help all the people that are surrounding you, right? You want to heal yourself so that not only can you enjoy life and enjoy motherhood, but so can everybody who's around you. Okay, because that's how our brains are upgraded. Again, different training for a different day. Okay, the fourth one. I only have five minutes. Uh, well, actually, I'm over. <laughs> Is how are you going to get to where you want to go? How are you going to get to your goal? How are you going to do that? What tools and skills and support do you need to get to positive thoughts, right? To get to feeling safe and secure, to get to feeling empowered. What do you need to get there? Drop some comments below. What do you need to get there? Some of you are already doing it. Maybe you're in therapy. Maybe you're on medication. Maybe it's not working. <laughs> What else do you need to get there? Type in the chat. What do you need to get there? Okay, you need help. <laughs> you might need, I'm going to make this up, you might need more um, support at home. You might need some childcare help. You might need some money. Uh, you might need a coach. You might need a nutritionist. You might need a functional medicine doctor. You might need a friend. Uh, you might need mom friends. <laughs> you might need different tools um, because the tools you're using don't work, right? You might need more education. Um, those are the how-to, right? How-to. Therapy, scheduling time, prioritizing, support system, connecting to similar-minded people. Absolutely. Uh-huh. Okay. Perfect. All right. So, Amber, I'm going to use yours for time's sake. All right. Now, you're going to break it down even deeper. Okay. Are you are you already in therapy? So, if you're already in therapy, um, you don't need to break it down here. Um, if you're not in therapy, okay, an now we're going to bring it down to action steps. It's going to be call a therapist, right? Call your insurance company. Find out if the therapists are in the area, right? Um, scheduling time could be that right now you schedule 20 minutes later on today for you to do this exercise, okay? Um, and a support system, connecting to like-minded people. Okay, who are people like you? What, sh what are you like? I'm like a crazy person. No, I'm just kidding like-minded people. Okay. So for me, I have a mom's group that is technically not like-minded, but I went through my postpartum depression and anxiety with them. So they are like, in essence, my mom group. Now, if I were looking for like-minded people for me personally, I would be, I'd be like, okay, anybody like crystals, anybody into natural things? Like, does this, does anybody want to meditate? Do you know what sound healing is? Like, um, do you like makeup? Uh, <laughs> Do you like uh, a glitter? Do you like to dance? Uh, so you want to get specific on what does that mean? Like-minded people. Does that mean moms who are healing or moms who have healed? 
or moms who like natural techniques or um, moms who uh, understand each other or moms going through depression and anxiety, be more specific, right? And then an action step might be like, okay, well, now I'm going to look for groups in the area that are like-minded, right? Or I'm going to look for mom groups in the area, or I'm going to join a mom Facebook group, or I'm going to join a membership program, or I'm going to um, be more active in a Facebook group, or or go to a, a gym um, or a, a stroller club or something. You following, Amber? So what you want to do is after you kind of figure out how, okay, then you want to create one action step for each thing. Just one, nothing serious, a small one, one small action step. Nothing big, just something that you can take the smallest step that will literally probably take you five minutes. Um, obviously, you can invest more time in that, but it uh, you don't have to, right? Oh, good, Amber. Yay. <laughs> okay, so what we're doing is we're, we're now training our brain and working through everything that you've been spinning in, okay? So I'll give you an example. If you guys are suffering with scary thoughts, right? And you want positive thoughts, okay? And you know why you, you want positive thoughts, right? How are you gonna get there? You need to find a specialist in scary thoughts, right? So it might be a coach, like I specialize in scary thoughts, right? But it also might be an OCD specialist, right? A therapist um, or a postpartum mental health therapist, right? Or specialist, right? Um, if you're dealing with um, postpartum depression, anxiety, and you want to heal, right? You want to feel happier. You want to feel calm and peaceful. Um, how you might get there might be, I don't know if you guys know this, but nutrition plays a huge part into actual symptoms of anxiety and depression and postpartum issues. Um, so it might be that you want to find a nutrition coach um, or you might want to find a, a, a dietitian or nutritionist or you want to start a diet plan, not, a, not an actual diet, just like a postpartum nutrition plan. Um, or um, you can uh, read a book or follow somebody on Instagram or something like that. Just one small action step, right? Everybody following? Yes. Yay. Okay. So now today, I just want you to do one thing. All right. So one thing, meaning you actually have to take a step. <laughs> which is hard, right? That's why we're doing this, okay? Don't overanalyze what step you're going to take. Just take the easiest one, okay? I will show you something that's on my wall, okay? It says, it's probably backwards. It says, the path of least resistance, okay? We will take the path of least resistance, whatever is easiest. Whatever's the most fun and the most enjoyable, right? Is always going to be how I coach, always. You go the easiest way, you do what works, you do what's important, things like that, okay? So uh, what is an easy step that you can do today? Um, give me something, anything, easy step. Well, Amber, I would say that you're kind of already in a similar support system. Um, so you could say that you join the, join the peaceful postpartum group, so that's good, that's a step. Uh, let's take one more. Uh, did you want to schedule more time to uh, do the exercise once I send the PDF? Do you want to schedule some time for yourself? Did you want to look up a therapist? Or uh, you could DM me. That's what I'm here for. Uh, Maria, where are you? <laughs> uh, what some things, how to get there? So... I will make this a little bit easier for you. Do the exercise. Good, perfect, perfect. Um, that's a great action step. So we just need one, right? That You don't have to do 10,000 of them, right? So again, with time, mm -hmm. good, perfect, okay? And you, you know, me talking sometimes, uh, I, do, I do want to do the exercise. Okay, perfect, so there, there's your one action step, okay? So this time you won't have to listen to me talk. You can, or you can watch the video again and pause it every time I get to a specific part so it can jog your memory. Um, so it's just an action step, right? Now, what I also want you to, um, what I wanna leave you with is, you now know where you are, where you wanna go, 
and pretty much why it's important. And you will delve deeper into it, right? Now, everybody kind of gets stuck when they don't know how. Now, one of the things that with people who are type A, okay, who procrastinate, who are perfectionists, things like that, that's my issue, is the how. I'm always spinning on the how. There's so many ways how. There's therapy, there's medication, there's books, there's podcasts, there's workshop, there's nutrition, there's this, da 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 right? So there's so many hows. And you're like, oh my God, what do I choose? What's the best option? Blah, 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 right? So you kind of get like stuck up on that, right? And then you end up doing everything by yourself because you're like, well, you know, I don't really think I need that much help. Like it's not that bad. That's probably Amber why you're not seeing a therapist. I can do it on my own. It'll be fine. Um, now I have the list of hows, but we don't ever take the steps. That's why I'm having you take an action step. All right, we don't ever take the steps or we figure out we can do it by ourselves and we take one step every three to six months. <laughs> Does that sound like any of you? It sounds like me. One step every three to six months because we don't know what to do. And it takes us a lot of time and it becomes hard, right? So what you always want to search for is, hey Sage, thank you. Um, so what you really want to search for is uh, somebody who already has the how for you, that it's easy, right? That there's an easy way, okay? Yeah, totally you, Amber, okay? So you always want uh, support in general, right? No matter what, we should not be doing it by ourselves. Somewhere down the line, someone told us that we should be doing all of our healing by ourselves, um, that if we can't do it by ourselves, that something's wrong with us, that we have failed at life, that we are not strong enough or whatever. It's a whole bunch of BS. It's a story you've been told your entire life. And I'm telling you, we're going to slowly rewrite that. But you always want to look for the path of least resistance. Somebody who already has it done. Does that, is that like something that makes sense? <laughs> a path that's already led for you. Right, because somebody's someone somewhere has already figured out what you want or what you want to get to or how to get there. Right? I'll give you an example. If you want to buy a house, right, you're not gonna just try to figure out how to buy a house all by yourself. I mean you could, but it would take you a long time. You could just go to a realtor, right? That's what they do. And you pay them and they help you find a house right? Or you can do the whole thing all by yourself. Drafts uh, just sounds too easy, right? But uh, that's the real, that that's like a very real thing. Like you hire a realtor so that you don't have to go search for all the houses in the area, search for all the stuff, do all the legwork, figure out how to draft up um, a closing agreement, how to talk to somebody, uh, what your, you know, uh, the mortgage rates are, all, all this stuff you pay for a realtor to do it for you, to look for the houses, right? So it's not as stressful. Now, I'm not saying buying a house is not stressful. I'm just saying there is a person that says, hey, I know what to do. Leave it to me. I'll find your perfect house. And they find your perfect house in three months, right? As a, Or three weeks, instead of three years of you doing it all by yourself. So always looking for the path of least resistance, the thing that is going to cause you to have the most enjoyable time, right? The least amount of stress, right? Someone who's already done the legwork, all right? So for example, you guys are taking the action step where I already have a PDF. You don't have to do anything. I'm like, here's your PDF. Here's the information. I already know what you need. Just take it and do the exercise, do the work, and you'll be good. Right? So you always want to be looking for somebody or something that has the answers for you, right? That's already done the legwork so that your path is easier, right? It is the path of least resistance. It's the most enjoyable. It's the most fun. It does not take a lot of time. It happens quick. It's fast, right? So you rather be able to, to get to your goal in let's say three months versus three years, right? I have a lot of clients who come work with me after three years of long, long therapy, medication, dealing with scary thoughts and anxiety and depression, three years postpartum. I have some clients who are eight years postpartum, all right? So I just want you to realize, to really sink this in, that these exercises really work and we're always looking for the easiest path, okay? Things that work and we're, we're gonna keep doing things that work, right? We're not 
trying all thousands of different things. Like, oh my God, does this work? I don't know if this works. Da, 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 da. We're just going with the path of least resistance. Does that sound good? Does that sound like something that, that resonates with everybody? Do not go at it alone, all right? That's what I wanna leave you with. The how-to is always that there's some sort of support, whether it be a book or a podcast or a therapist or a coach or a nutritionist, whatever it is, support group. The how-to is always going to be your support, your tools, your resources, your skills. Yes, got it? Okay, I have to go pick up my kid, but I will send you the PDF ASAP. And uh, I want you to just spend a small amount of time. Even if you just commit to yourself five minutes, that's enough, okay? Just commit to your brain five minutes. If you stay there longer, great. If not, that's okay too. You'll get to it, all right? Just commit five minutes to doing the PDF, all right? Does anybody have any questions? I've been suffering for so long, I've finally been, just started to feel better. Love you, I love you. I love you, Sage. Good, yes, so that's what I mean. Too long, right? It's not necessary. There's no reason we should be suffering this long, okay? So if you need anything, let me know. What was the biggest, um, I can't even speak. What was your biggest breakthrough today? What did you learn that you didn't know about? What did you learn today that you didn't know about? Or that changed the way you're looking at things? Or possibly will change your life in the future? What did you learn today? Biggest breakthrough. <laughs> Either you're all typing or you're all like, hmm, I don't know. Either there's too many or I'm not sure. <laughs> don't know. I need to more deeply examine my why. Yeah, whoa, yeah, girl. <laughs> yeah, girl. Absolutely. I love that. Yeah, I gotta do that for everything now. Every goal, every dream, every wish, every desire now. <laughs> Cause I know it works. It truly uh, changes your perspective and really motivates you to keep moving forward and stay committed to yourself. Okay. All right, thank you all so much for being on the line. Hey everybody on the replay, sending you so much light and love. And I will send out that PDF later today. And I will see you all in the morning, in the morning, afternoon, wherever it is your time. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment um, or send me a private message and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much.